Hello everyone and welcome back to Project Forge UK. I'm Danny and today we're going to be doing an oil filter change on the Evo 6. I've ordered all the stuff from Opie's Oils online. I've got the Titan Super Synthetic 5W40s which is what they say go in it. They've missed out a 1 litre tub. It's a service kit. It's supposed to come with 6 litres as apparently the Evo takes 5.1. They've missed one off. I've given them a ring and they're going to sort it out. I've got a genuine Mitsubishi oil filter as well and then I also bought the tool for taking it off I've got filter straps and stuff but how pretty does that look I just thought it's a nice little thing for what it costs and with the OP service kits you get a funnel and some gloves so let's get outside now and have a look at the car the car still won't idle properly when it's cold and it's not been started as soon as it warms up it's fine I'm gonna have to get it booked in it's starting to do me head in a little bit now I'm gonna start the car up get it warm and spin it round and then get it jacked up. I don't know if you can hear me over the top of the engine, but hopefully the oil change will sort that out. They do do a modified hydraulic lifter now, which has got a three millimeter hole in it rather than a one millimeter hole, which gets the oil through a lot quicker and stops that noise. But I know I said I was gonna jack the car up a second ago, but I'm gonna jack it up now and crack on with this oil change. Car's all jacked up now. Axle stand underneath. Get the oil filler cap off dipstick out get under now and drop this oil engine oil's trickling away though should have jacked it up on both sides really but live and learn i guess oil filters next anyone wondering it's a 17 milli spanner to get the sump plug off and that tool i've just bought is a 17 milli socket on the end of that as well i'm gonna crack this filter off now as well hopefully it's not too tight oh, easy Let's get my hands covered in oil now. Move this out of the road. Just while that's draining, I'm going to show you a few little jobs I want to be doing over the next week or two. Take these bolts off, clean all this off the paint, spray them back up and get them back in. Just more little jobs really that make a difference. Little things that let the car down. These genuine filters come with some plastic on. The seal's already greased up. I'm still going to put a bit of extra on of the old oil anyway just to make sure. And I'm going to get it fit. There's the dirty engine oil. As you'd expect, don't seem to be any metal in it. That's always nice to see. Underneath here, we've got the super pretty brand new filter on. Sump plugs back in, all brake um, sprayed off, brake clean it off, get rid of all the oil. Yeah, job done, let's get it off this axle stand. The engine definitely seems a lot less noisy. Put this on upside down. It's funny. Right, shut her off, check this engine oil, and let's go for a run in her. That's the oil and filter done. Give the rocker cover down a bit of oil off the rag. Psychological servicing, as they used to call it. The old oil is going to go into this tub now. Luckily, the tip down the road from us accepts used engine oil, so I can go and drop that off there so we can be environmentally friendly. Let's get out in this car now. Always oh, smiling in this car. Just giving it a run now. It's a lot, lot quieter. I don't know if that's just psychological because you put new oil in it and you're buzzing. 
it's a good easy little job to do on the drive that especially seeing as we're locked down i'm just going to nip and get some food now and then i'll pull over and see how the engine's running put a bit of wd-40 on the bonnet catch as well that got a bit stiff don't want that to snap or rip any of the plastic off on the handle down here engine's definitely a lot quieter still going to get them hydraulic lifters done and get the upgraded ones put in from mitsubishi it's not a big job i'll get someone to do it once the lockdown's finished oil and filter done thanks for watching guys as always hit the subscribe button hit the like button and leave your comments down in the comment section below i think every youtuber says that but it does really help us out it gets our videos viewed more and if you like the content and stuff it's just a sign of a little bit of appreciation for weirdos like me who like filming themselves when they're working on cars the wheels were off the other week so i've been around with the torque wrench again and just checked the tightness of the wheels because they are t they do pr uh, tend to come loose uh, they all seem bang on that compressor i had put on the other week sounds horrendous so i'm gonna have to try and find another one or hopefully a reconditioned one um, it sounds like a bit of a burring noise there, a bit of a burring rattle uh, not happy with that it's making my car sound tinny fingers crossed when this lockdown's over with i can get it into the body shop i'm still going to get the car fully serviced um, professionally all fluids changed uh, timing belt done water pump done as i just mentioned a second ago all the little bits that need tidying up with the bodywork i'm going to get the car up on a ramp as well and get it all sprayed off and cleaned underneath because i had it all painted and i used it in the wet and it's all looked rubbish again underneath so get this car looking amazing there's still plenty of little jobs to be getting on with like i said earlier in the video there's the screws on the body kit that the the nut sorry on the body kit that can come off um, they can be wire brushed sprayed black and put back on polished behind where the the rust is on the paint and like i say just make this car look tidy um i do love driving it absolutely love driving it i love owning it and like i say guys thanks for watching stay safe and um, i'll see you in the next video